careful. What kind of, um, you know, you don't have to name actual supplement company names if you don't want to, but what kind of uh, pre-workout type of uh, supplements do you take to help you with your workout, intensity, I don't know, you know, either way, it's up to you. Um, no, it's, uh, I, I use uh, BSN, um, no explode before I work out because it gives me a good uh, boost of energy before I train and a uh, good uh, sugar rush. So you like that. Is there, is there actually sugar in that product? Uh, no, I add it. You add sugar to it. What, how do you do that? Uh, I mix it with Gatorade. All right, there you go. So you can't leave these details out. Then that's why these kids, you know, they don't they want to duplicate what you're doing here. So you take your nose explode and you put it in Gatorade, right? Yeah, I mix it in. Usually uh, 16 ounces of Gatorade and a couple scoops, scoops of uh, no explode mix it together. Drink it 30, 40 minutes before I train. Now, what do you, I see you drinking something during the workout. What are you drinking now? Uh, during the workout, I just drink water. Okay, you look like you're drinking something that's, that's colored. Uh, what about you, Chris? What do you what do you drink pre-workout? Uh, I got kind of my own uh, pre-workout concoction I put together. It's it, you know it's just a Gatorade. I also sprinkle in some uh, some rice cakes before it and some peanut butter. I like to get a little in my stomach because usually I come straight from uh, straight from work to the gym, so I, I can't really bring too much on the train with me. So it's kind of a just a little snack. So I'm uh, I got a little food extra food in my stomach while I'm training, give me some extra energy. The Gatorade's got the sugar in it. Um, nothing too much. Now, give me that give me that concoction you make up again. What is it? Uh, it's Gatorade, and then I uh, just sprinkle some rice cakes and get some peanut butter in there. In, into the into the Gatorade? Just mix it all up. So you got wait, I gotta get this straight. You got Gatorade, you got rice cakes in there, uh-huh. and you got peanut butter? I don't actually put the peanut butter in there. It's uh it's harder it's harder to mix up the peanut butter. Yeah, without a blend? Yeah. <laughs> the rice cakes mix fine. The rice cakes are fine. I gotta try that one. That's a that's, that's a new one for me. Now, Jeff, uh, I just got a, uh, a little slip of paper to be handed to me. Um, I understand that you have a pretty uh, interesting uh, educational background. You want to share that with us? Uh, educational background? Um, you don't. You don't. You don't have any recollection of what you just graduated from? Oh yeah, I went to. Uh, I just graduated from uh, real estate school uh, last week, and um, it's education. Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> and. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be starting a new job uh, as a realtor, and uh, hopefully it goes well for me. The reason we ask you these things is because most buyers don't have real jobs. <laughs> you do? Yeah. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing here, Chris? Uh, this, uh, Jeff's starting up, starting us off with some hammers here. Um, I think Jeff usually likes to go with more of a crossbody movement. I, uh, I tend to go up and down a little bit, just uh, laterally. Um, you know, this is some we usually an exercise that we do tend to tend to finish our workout with a lot with buys. Now, Jeff, why why do you uh, prefer to go across your body as opposed to straight up and down like the conventional hammer strength movement? Uh, because I just feel it more uh, in the forearm area and the outer bicep area when I take them to the side than pulling them up in front of me. Now, when you're doing these hammers, are you mainly concentrating on forearms, or are you trying to or are you trying to really work the brachialis muscle? No, mainly just the uh, outer forearms. So you, you, you're working more towards the uh, forearm as opposed to the upper arm. Correct. And, and I, I, Jeff, I got to hit you with this. You know, forearm. The, excuse, excuse me, Chris. Forearms. I mean, I mean, you guys got me confused now, and I'm never confused. Hammer, uh, hammer curls really maximally stimulate the brachialis muscle, which sits between the the bicep muscle and the tricep muscle. Um, and it's usually maximally stimulated in an up and down movement, as, uh, such as Chris is doing. Um, but you know, some people like uh, it seems that Jeff likes to uh, uh, try to simulate his forearms here. Uh, so let me ask you, Chris: um, Are you trying to maximally stimulate your upper arm the brachialis muscle, or are you looking for the forearm development too with this movement? No, I am trying to hit the brachialis on this. Um, you know, sometimes if I want to hit the uh, hit my forearms a little bit, we might end with reverse curls. Uh, that usually tends to hit the front of my forearm. But uh, in this case, I was just doing it just as uh, mainly as a bicep exercise, not so much as the uh, as my forearm. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. All right. Now I noticed you you switched your form here, uh, Jeff. What are you doing? Um, I just wanted to rotate and uh, like Chris was doing and uh, hit more of the outer bicep, opposed to uh, hitting more of the forearm. Like I said in my last uh, the first set I did. So you like to hit multi different multi angles when you're doing the, within the same workout? Yeah, I like to rotate. Yeah, that, that's good. You know, angles are you know that's a Charles Glass technique. Charles Glass believes in many different angles throughout the same workout. Um, you know, Victor does a little bit about that. We were training with Victor Martinez last night, and he was uh, hitting doing a lot of different angular type stuff. 
Um, is this the last exercise for biceps, Chris? Yeah, I believe that's this is what we finished off. I think we uh, we just ended with two quick, uh, you know, moderate hammer curls before we moved on to triceps. All right. Um, do you guys always do biceps before triceps, or do you alter? Or are you switching around? No, it's uh, we pretty much switch it around today. You know, just happened to be bicep first day. Um, it's really no, you know, no rhyme or reason. Usually, John's kind of got the workout in his head before we even show up. So. You know what I mean? There's really really not too much brain work on our part. We just have to move the weight once we get there. So you're so you training John. He makes up all your workouts for you, Jeff? Yep. Every single day? Yep, every single day. That's great. Holy, no thinking involved. I like that. I should uh, Maybe I should uh, have him email me my workout every day. I don't know. Sometimes it, I get uh, a headache from trying to think of what I'm going to do. <laughs>